Lowriding attracts both guys and girls to ride the waves, but who usually does it better? Ask the girls who turned up at Wave House Sentosa's Girls' Night Out, which offered 50 girls free flowriding lessons. I'm here with two girls who are in the middle of their flowriding session, so how are you doing? I'm um, doing great. Yeah. Great as well, it's very fun. Yeah. So how many times have you been up there? It's my second time already. Second time? Yeah. Yeah, it's my third time coming here to play the flowrider and pretty good, going well. Going well? So how long can you stand? <laughs> For me, it's like less than five seconds. <laughs> um, if I'm having good luck, maybe around thirty seconds. If not, good luck. Uh. Good luck uh. No, if it's warm enough, of course, it's very cold now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for today, I'm pretty bad. So no luck. <laughs> it's by no means an easy sport, and though floor riding is dominated by men, the number of women who've picked up the sport is rising. So actually, are there a lot of girls who come down like regularly? Yeah, over the last one year, you know, we started 16 of October last year. We have seen um, an increase in the women ridership at Wave House and Tosa. So we are quite happy about it. Um, in fact, I would say it's more than a hundred percent increase. It was a bit difficult at first, but uh, after some practice, then you get the hang of it, and yeah, it's quite fun. So yeah, the same. Because the first few times, I felt really hard. So it was quite painful. <laughs> I was scared. I didn't go for the first half an hour, so <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, I was really scared. Yeah. Then it was all right. Like it didn't hurt that much. It was all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was hard at first, but uh, I guess you get the hang of it. <laughs> no, it was just fun. It was just, yeah, it was just fun. Did you get it all? No. Right in the beginning, it's only guys, and the girls were a bit intimidated. But I guess over time, they just grew to uh, like it, and they, they see themselves riding as well as the guys. Yeah. Okay. Now comes the age-old question, just who is better at it? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, so uh, do you all think that women or men are better at floor riding? Actually, it depends on individual. Uh, uh, depends on your balancing. Yeah. yeah. I think it's not about gender, it's about your your how daring you are to go to play. Yeah. So some girls, they can play really well and they can balance well. So if you are daring to try, you wouldn't fail. I think it's just practice because we saw this girl who was really, really good last week. She just stood there and some people are just naturally better. Yeah, better. This girl, my friend, she went and it was her first time but she managed to stand there and then she could even just like, oh, my, my thigh is very tired. <laughs> and it was her first time. Okay. So I think some people probably just have better balance, I think. I think woman is better. Really? Yeah, woman is better because... Normally, women will be scared. They just stay still and they don't dare to move. <laughs> Not like men, no. They try to move around. Action, action. Be yeah, okay, action, action. Yeah. Um, it's not a gender issue. I think it's more about practicing and all that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. No, no preference. I think guys would be better because guys do a lot more skateboarding and sports like that. So, related to this, that's just my guess. I would say the guys pick it up faster, but they are not necessarily faster. I mean, they have the natural advantage of being more um, athletic, uh, you know, they are more daring. So they tend to do a bit more stunt than the girls. So the girls are a bit more conservative, but uh, they build up very uh, progressively, you know, they are very constant. While the guys, they are, you know, they improve very fast, but in the end, you know, they sort of take a slower pace and try to, you know, think about the, the move on a, in a deeper sense. Uh, but, you know, pro and cons, you know, both sexes have their... their advantage in the sport. Well, a lot of people seem to think that girls will be more scared than guys. Do you think it's true? Uh, not true. I mean, you should come down to our International Flow Championship next week where you, you'll see like a lot of top um, female riders in Singapore. You know, they come from all over the world, like South Africa, USA, and even our own local girls, Ili Ada Lim, she's like our female expert and she's sponsored by, um, you know, uh, Rip Curl as well. So they are all very good example of how ladies can outperform the guys in the sport of flow riding. Yeah. Okay, well, do you think that ladies outperform the guys? Um, well, they still have a bit more to go, especially <laughs> at the barrel when, you know, you do a lot of airs. It, it can get quite intimidating, but the girls are catching up. Yeah, okay. and it's a very encouraging sign. Well, it doesn't matter if you're guy or gal. It's about practice, practice, practice. And of course, how many times you're willing to fall. For more on flow riding, check out our other clips. I'm used to...